Hi there, fellow RC enthusiasts and potentially beginner RC enthusiasts. This is your host, Tom Cogswell from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC, here to talk about how you can upgrade the charger on something that many would consider a beginner vehicle, the SCX 24th scale crawlers. There's a number of different ones that Axial makes and they're all really great. I myself am really enamored with these little guys, especially during the cold months or when you're stuck inside. You can build a little track of your own out of whatever you find and just get to crawling. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about the charger that comes with the Axial SCX24 and how you can get rid of that and upgrade to a smart charger simply by adding an adapter and grabbing your smart charger. So let's jump down to the bench and I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough on what I would do to charge this battery. All right, so if you guys are like me, then you would understand the need to upgrade the charger on an RTR vehicle, such as the Axial SCX 24th scales included USB LiPo charger. I personally love to be able to charge quickly and potentially charge more batteries at one time. So you can get like a dual port charger or a multi-port charger and charge more batteries at once. If you're a beginner and you just want to upgrade your charger, a great option in getting rid of this guy is to upgrade to the S150 smart charger from Spectrum. So this one here is a smart charger that works with smart batteries and non-smart batteries like the SCX24 scale battery. This is the 352S 7.4 LiPo that comes with the SCX24. But to use this with this battery, you need to be able to adapt this connector to the IC3 plug on here. Luckily, we have an adapter for that. That's this one right here. This adapter is the SPM XCA 309 adapter. It has the IC3 plug on one end that'll plug straight into your charger and the PH 2.0 adapter on the other end. So that's the little adapter that is the main charge lead for this guy. So instead of using the balance lead to charge, it's going to use both and I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and plug in our IC3 adapter into our charger here and then let's apply power with our power brick and it's gonna automatically power on like that. So let's go ahead and plug in our main lead. So that's this guy here. Make sure that you plug it in correctly. It is keyed to keep you from plugging it in backwards. And if you do, it's just gonna give you a warning on the charger that you plugged it in wrong, but it's always a good idea to make sure that the red wires are lining up. And then on the balance lead, the black wire, which is our negative lead, goes towards the left. So you plug it into the left pin and then we see that the LED on the front of the charger turns on. This guy, which is depicted by what looks like kind of a battery, is exactly that, is the charge level. So this one's less than 25% charged, and these are our settings on the side. So if we wanna get started, we wanna be able to change it to the correct type of LiPo. With these types of batteries, since it's not a smart battery, you will have to put these settings in. If you were using a smart battery, then you wouldn't have to, but that's pretty cool. This is, we can use it with this as well. So to change it on the left-hand side here, luckily it had a good idea that we were using a LiPo because we plugged in a balance lead, but if we needed to change that, you would press and hold, and we could cycle through the four different types of battery types that it can charge. We have lithium high voltage and lithium polymer, LiPo. And then we want to change the amperage rate on the right-hand side here. To do that, you simply tap one time. For this battery, I would recommend going to 0.5, or if you want to charge quickly, go to one. Do remember when you charge at a higher C rate, you are putting a little bit of extra stress on the pack. So it's always good if you want the longest life of the battery is to stick with 0.5. And then to start the charge, you double tap. And when you see the light blinking like that, it is charging. Very good. Once it's fully charged, it will beep at you a number of times, alarming you that the battery is fully charged and it's time to unplug it. And then you can move on to your next pack. And there you have it, RC enthusiasts. That's a super easy, dependable, and smart way to upgrade your charger from your RTR vehicle, like the Axial SCX24 scale, to Spectrum Smart Technology. We're gonna go ahead and crawl our way out of this video. If you guys have any other video requests or comments, or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Spectrum Smart Technology, 
go ahead and like and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.